If you don't want boring chicken, give it a good marinade. Chicken marinades are the best way to give your favorite protein some big flavor and maximum juiciness. From a bright Greek lemon to a savory teriyaki and a sweet honey mustard to a zesty cilantro lime, I'll share six chicken marinades with you today that the whole family will love. You can marinate the chicken for a few hours in the fridge for an easy weeknight meal, or you can pop the chicken in the freezer for a healthy future meal that's a cinch to make. So let's dive right in. All of the chicken marinades I'm sharing today will marinate about a pound of chicken, which, depending on the size of your chicken breasts, is usually two to three chicken breasts. The first flavor is a Greek lemon marinade, and since I know you're gonna ask me, yes, I'll show you how to write these labels on the stasher bags at the end of the video, so hold tight. But to get started with this one, you'll add a quarter cup of olive oil to a bowl, along with the juice of one lemon, which is about three tablespoons of juice and definitely use fresh lemons here and not jarred juice. To that, add two minced garlic cloves, two teaspoons of dried oregano, one teaspoon of dried thyme, one teaspoon of Dijon mustard, and to finish it off, one teaspoon of kosher salt and half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Then whisk that together until it's blended and emulsified. You can marinate the chicken in a glass bowl in the fridge, or you can use a plastic bag or a stasher bag, which is my personal preference, but you use what's easiest for you. For this Greek lemon flavor, I'll show you how to marinate in the glass bowl, and all you have to do is add your chicken breasts and then pour the marinade on top, making sure that the chicken gets covered. Then cover the bowl with plastic wrap or a lid and place it in the fridge for at least 30 minutes and up to about eight hours. If you're using the stasher bag, add the chicken to the bag, and I'm just gonna get my hands all oily as the chicken is already coated, but that's okay. Then pour the marinade on top. Squeeze any air out of the bag. I just fold the top over to do that, and then seal it tightly across. You can also squish and squeeze the chicken in the bag to make sure it's well coated. Then pop the bag in the fridge. The next flavor is cilantro lime, and you guys know I am a sucker for this flavor. To make this marinade, add a quarter cup of olive oil to a bowl, along with a quarter cup of cilantro leaves that are just roughly chopped. Then zest and juice two limes. You should get about three to four teaspoons of lime zest and four tablespoons of juice from the two limes. Also, when you're buying limes, don't buy ones that are rock hard as they'll have less juice. To that, add two minced garlic cloves, one teaspoon of ground cumin, half a teaspoon of chili powder, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Whisk that all together until it's well combined, and then add your chicken breast to a bag and pour the cilantro lime marinade on top. Seal the top zipper on the bag, give it a good squeeze, and your cilantro lime chicken is ready to chill and marinate for a bit. Up next is honey mustard, which is my favorite sweet and tangy chicken marinade. To make this flavor, add three tablespoons of honey to a mixing bowl. And I should have done what I did on the last video, which was to coat the measuring spoon with a little bit of oil so that the honey just sort of plops out and doesn't do a long trickle. Then add three tablespoons of Dijon mustard, and you can use stone ground mustard as well if you prefer that. Two tablespoons of olive oil, which helps to thin out this thick marinade. And for a little acid, add two teaspoons of apple cider vinegar. To finish this one off, add one minced garlic clove, one teaspoon of kosher salt, and half a teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper. Whisk that all together until the honey and mustard are blended, and then add your chicken to a bag, pour the marinade on top, seal the bag tightly, give it a good squish, and pop it in the fridge. Next up is teriyaki, and this is an Americanized version of teriyaki rather than my more authentic teriyaki chicken recipe that's on my website. To make this, add a quarter cup of tamari soy sauce or coconut aminos to a bowl, along with one tablespoon of sesame oil, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, one green onion that's thinly sliced, two teaspoons of fresh ginger from about a half inch piece of ginger, or you can use jarred minced ginger, which I always have as backup in my fridge, and finish it off with two minced garlic cloves. Give that a whisk and make sure it's all blended together, then add your chicken to a bag, pour the marinade on top, 
Seal the bag tightly as you do not want this or any of the other marinades for that matter spilling out all over your fridge. Give it a good squeeze, then pop it in the fridge. For my Mexican cuisine lovers, the next flavor is a fajita marinade and it is oh so good. To make this, add a quarter cup of olive oil to a bowl and add the juice from one lime, which is about two tablespoons of juice. To that, add one minced garlic clove, one teaspoon chili powder, one teaspoon ground cumin, half a teaspoon paprika, and you can use smoky or sweet paprika, it's up to you, one teaspoon kosher salt, and half a teaspoon freshly ground black pepper. Give that a whisk to make sure that the spices get blended, then add your chicken breast to a bag, pour the marinade on top, fold the bag over and seal it up, then pop your fajita chicken in the fridge. The last flavor is an Italian marinade with a little kick and it couldn't be easier to make. To a mixing bowl, add a quarter cup of olive oil, two tablespoons of white wine vinegar, two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, two minced garlic cloves, half a teaspoon of red pepper flakes for a punch of heat, though you can reduce this to a quarter teaspoon if you'd like, and half a teaspoon of kosher salt. Whisk that together until it's fully combined and you know the drill from here. Add the chicken breast to a bag, pour the Italian marinade on top, seal the bag tightly, give it a good squish to make sure that the chicken gets fully coated, then pop it in the fridge. These six easy chicken marinades will greatly improve the flavor of your weeknight meals. And the best part is that there's so much variety that you'll never have to eat boring chicken breasts again. But as promised, I'll show you how to write the labels on the bags, and I'll use the Italian marinade as an example. Stasher bags have a shiny side and a matte side, and you want to write on the matte side. The type of marker that you'll use is a chalk marker, which is similar to a dry erase marker, and it's not permanent. You do not want to use paint pen markers, which is what I've previously shown you to write on glass pantry jars, as they're more permanent. Then just write your label on the stasher bag and the date, especially if you're storing this in the freezer, and that's it. Ideally, you'd write the labels before you stuffed them full of food as it's easier to write on a flat surface, but if you forget, as I did today, you can see it's still no problem to write out the label on top. Now, if you make a mistake and want to rewrite the label, or if you want to remove the label and wash the bag, all you have to do is wipe it with a wet sponge and the label will come right off. It is super easy. These chicken marinades are also freezer friendly and I love that the stasher bags will stack flat. Just pop them straight into the freezer after you've added everything to the bag. They'll start to marinate as they freeze up and more so when you thaw them overnight in the fridge before using. You can cook the marinated chicken a variety of ways, but I most often bake it or grill it. To bake it, you can just dump out the entire contents of the bag into a small baking dish. If you have a larger baking dish or rimmed baking sheet, I wouldn't add all of the liquid as it'll spread out and likely burn when baking, but it's fine for a small dish and the liquid helps to keep the chicken ultra juicy. Bake the chicken at 425 degrees Fahrenheit or 220 degrees Celsius for 20 to 25 minutes, depending on the size of your chicken breasts. Let it cool for a couple of minutes to allow the juices to redistribute in the meat, then slice it up and enjoy it. If you've cooked a large batch of marinated chicken for meal prep, you can place sliced or diced pieces back into a stasher bag and top on salads, bowls, and other recipes throughout the week, as the cooked chicken will last for four to five days in the fridge. In a perfect world, I would have let this chicken cool for a couple of minutes before placing it back in the bag and also not burn my fingers, but you get the idea. If you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up as that really does help to support my channel. And since I'm now out of B-roll footage, I'll say goodbye as I eat the last couple of pieces of this juicy chicken, and I will see you again in the next video.